Hi, uh, it's Monster Cameron with Think Teletronics, and today I'm going to be giving you a review <coughs> of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 Plus. Uh, so right off the bat, um, the 7 Plus has a 7 inch uh, LCD, so it's not AMOLED like you find in the newer 7.7 or their, uh, their smartphone lineup. <coughs> But it's actually uh, it's a PLS LCD technology. That's what they call it. The is a better display. The AMOLED display is a better display. But the LCD display that they produce <coughs> is one of the better ones on the market. It's certainly better than the Acer displays for the A500, the A100, the A200. So it's a really nice, uh, vibrant, sharp display. Uh, it's not as super saturated as the AMOLED, but it's still a very good display. So let me it up right quick so right here we have the lock screen it's a very simple lock screen and right there so a couple of things this isn't really default this is in the go launcher uh, pro if I'm not mistaken so I got a custom launcher here um, the launcher that was provided uh, was a pretty good launcher which I'm gonna actually load up right now it's a TW launcher so right here this is a uh, Samsung's uh, launcher and it's it's a fairly good launcher it's a little bit on the slower side it's slower than the other launcher but uh, otherwise it's a pretty good launcher gets the job done and here we go into the apps drawer and many different apps to choose from so yeah so the LCD well, let me finish up on the LCD the LCD uh, is actually uh, 1024 by 600 so again for a 7 inch uh, it's uh, quite sharp and also um, the on the physical side the tablet is actually fairly thin uh, I know the video will do it justice um, but right there it's actually less than a centimeter thick it's about uh, 8 to 9 millimeters thick so very very thin uh, not uncomfortably thin um, it does tend to dig into your, your palms a little bit other than that uh, it's fairly comfortable the, the edges are all tapered um, so not too bad and the performance is just great but I'll get into that right now it's using Samsung's Exynos uh, CPU so it's their top well not the top of the line skew but um, it's the 1.2 gigahertz dual core uh, Exynos uh, that's using the A9 core uh, with a Mali 400 MP, the the multi-core version. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Mali 400 should be the quad-core uh, version. So what that means for for us is a uh, extremely quick um, operating, very smooth, very quick, especially in terms of gaming. Um, it, well, if you can call this gaming, uh, as, uh, especially in terms of that aspect, um, it's very good. And also, uh, multitasking isn't too much of an issue. First, you have the fast processor, good graphics, and you also get one gig of RAM. Uh, it's a fairly quick RAM, um, so and it's high capacity, one gigs. That's a that's a lot of memory. That's uh, four years ago. That was your. Um, and also, it comes in 16 and 32 gig configurations, so uh, you can get multiple sizes. The 16 gig retails for about 350. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, 32 gigs should go for um, 399 to 450. I'll have a link in the description uh, to where you can find them and the prices. Also, on the note of storage, you can expand your storage. Uh, it does take a so you can get a micro SD card in there. Uh, you can put a, a up to a 32 gig card in there. So, theoretically, you could have 64 gigs on the device, on the micro SD. So, let's move on to the TouchWiz again. Uh, TouchWiz uh, is what they call their, um, their, their UI. Uh, TouchWiz is just basically some, uh, something to differentiate it from the, the, the other tablets out there, because you know, there are plenty of tablets out there on the market. Uh, maybe not in the 7 inch size, but the 10 inch size is definitely overcrowded. Um, TouchWiz is basically a couple of um, widgets and uh, optimizations. Um, 
uh, a couple of them you can see right here this is uh, the most uh, uh, noticeable one uh, right here you can take a screenshot directly from the menu bar and you can all draw on it second of all you can you have a couple of applications right here uh, these are quick multitaskable ap ap applications that means you can bring them up when you're doing anything so let's say for example the calculator you have a little quick calculator uh, you can move it around and you can just close it and it's, it provides some additional functionality um, for the tablet in the case that you ever want to use that situation without closing the application or in. so uh, could be useful and right here in the status bar um, I don't have any no uh, uh, notifications right now but right here you can scroll up and down you can see the various notifications and you also get quick access to turn off uh, various features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and it's uh, in uh, incorporated GPS so that makes it a little bit easier to use a little bit quicker than stuck and the application list uh, uh, fairly similar to what uh, you're all used to Oops. So that's touch. All right. So then we're gonna move on to uh, <clears throat> connectivity. Uh, connectivity is actually pretty good on this tablet in comparison to some of the other tablets you can find on the market. Uh, first thing, um, Wi-Fi does support A, B, G, and N, so you can connect it to your, your high-speed networks. If you're using like all N devices, you'll really benefit uh, from that. Also, it has Wi-Fi Direct, where you can directly connect to Wi-Fi devices. Uh, right now, I think mainly Samsung devices have the Wi-Fi Direct feature um, for like their cell phones and such. And like uh, their new cameras that are coming out, like the WB150, that you can connect directly to your tablet and you can use it as a viewfinder, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's Wi-Fi Direct. You can, I think, it creates an ad hoc network that you can use to connect to each other. Um, Bluetooth is supported. Uh, you can you know, uh, do many things with Bluetooth. The will directly fit the Bluetooth keyboard, but you can connect Bluetooth keyboards, uh, remotes, um, uh, headsets. Yeah, Bluetooth, uh, standard Bluetooth. So that's pretty good. It's got a standard 3.5 mil. Yeah, 3.5 mil headphone jack. So uh, the usual, and then Samsung's uh, turtle secret. They're they definitely won't be able to see that one. Or will you? Your dock connector. Well, I'll just tell you that it's there. Uh, yeah, so you can. Uh, there's a 30 pin dock connector which you can connect um, uh, USB on the go host uh, uh, hubs to and uh, HDMI out to. Um, but those are all sold separately. You don't get any of those in the packaging. And this one has a really nice feature. It has an IR blaster up top. You can see that one um, right here. So, with the Peel Remote, you can um, check your local uh, listings. Well, whatever um, provider you're using, uh, it will give you a um, graphical layout of um, the upcoming shows. And you can control your TV and or your cable box. And you can choose the channel and then you can do watch on TV cable box so it's actually pretty interesting and it works uh, about 15 feet away from my uh, cable box uh, my DVR but uh, it works it works pretty well so that's not an issue um, the device itself has two uh, speaker uh, uh, loudspeakers at the bottom of the device where the, the dock, docking connector is uh, right there it has uh, a microphone as well so tiny little mic it's about right here and it has I don't know if you can see it right here that is a speakerphone so it's built just like a phone actually and then there's the light sensors and stuff that you can't really see on camera uh, decent quality nothing that uh, nothing too special and also on the front I don't know if you can see it it's right here it's a uh, it's about a one megapixel or a little bit lower than that uh, it does great Skype video though uh, really smooth uh, motion especially if you have the right data speed so that's not an issue and 
for battery life battery life is actually very good and for battery life battery life is actually very good very very good it gets I would say uh, five hours of gaming um, that's an estimation because I haven't done more than an hour but the battery life you know is stuck uh, is stuck around but for videos, I'll say you get about eight hours. I've been watching a couple of movies here, and it just doesn't affect music of life. It has more than twelve hours of life when you're doing music, so that's not hard either. Um, so yeah, let me show you Quadrant, and then we'll do Sun Spider. So now if I can find Quadrant. Alright, so there it is. 3700. Oh, 3200 actually. Oops. 3200 uh, Galaxy Tab. So, um, right now, I'm getting. Uh, there we go. Uh, 1912 uh, milliseconds in uh, Sun Spider. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pinch of zoom is pretty quick. The the tab is pretty quick. Uh, let me just run through a game. I'll probably just run through the one I, I mentioned earlier. But the graphics are really sharp. The, the LCD is actually really good. Like I was telling you guys before. See if I can play this through. There's a little bit of a lag. And the Sims actually plays really nice on this thing. Oh. Reactions are too slow. But yeah, that's enough. As all I can say right now is that the hardware is pretty good. The software is very stable. Uh, apps are plentiful. Um, the screen is pretty good. And um, the overall feel of the device, I felt I feel it's a good 350 spent. That's what I feel. So at the end of the day, that's all that's important. That you don't feel short change. And there is a new version that's coming out, the Galaxy Tab 7, um, Galaxy Tab 2 7, all, uh, posted by Samsung, but it's said to have a 1, uh, one gigahertz dual core processor. Uh, some people are speculating that it might be a TI, so that they can interface with the 4G, but, they're, um, but that's, you know, that's questionable because the 7.7 has the Exynos that interfaces with a 4G uh, modem, so... That's all debatable. So what you could do is you could wait. If you're interested in the tab, you could wait until the seven, the tab two seven comes out, and then you can compare them, or you can just jump straight for the seven seven, which has that uh, 1280 by 800 AMOLED display and a 1.4 gigahertz X Exynos processor. It's a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, this is my review. Um, I would say wait and see what the new stuff's coming out, and this has a price drop. Uh, but other than that, it's a buy. So, uh, this is Earl from Think Teletronics signing out. Peace.